Good morning. In today's show, we're going to be talking about stepping out of the loop. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Boardman. If you are coming through, please do let me know. Please do let me know if you're watching, if you can relate to it, share within the community your own experiences of this subject. What a beautiful morning. Okay, you can even see the moon here. Look at this. Boom, there it is. It is shining up the sky. Um, how you doing? Midway through the week, I just want to talk about maybe finding some time for yourself. And it come off the back of um, walking with a really good friend of mine and having some, own, some of my own reflection time. And we fell into a particular habit or a particular routine or have fallen into that particular routine. Um, and it came off the back of talking about the last four or five months um, and the consistent pressures that life has brought to everybody. I don't care who you are. It's brought some form of tension, some form of stress, some form of distraction, whether it's dealing with the kids at home for the last five months, whether it's dealing with stress and work pressures, whether it's ill health, mental health, emotional well-being, we've all suffered in some way, shape or form. Um, maybe not consistently, but maybe sporadically. And in the end, uh, life becomes a torrid loop of realities that bog us down. It's like, way, it's like wearing a backpack or a, a Bergen with a hundred kilograms worth of weight. It just weighs you down as you're walking along, right? And eventually up here, you struggle to function properly. And I think I had that last week when I shared my experiences on Monday. And it all just become too much. And it's really realizing that and stepping out of the loop and learning to step out of the loop so that you're actually finding micro pockets of time consistently for yourself to be able to just take a huge deep breath and just go, fuck me, <sighs> breathe, okay. And we, and we were talking about this and we, we went up the golf range. Now I'm a king golfer, um, but I just never really play enough. Um, there's always something and I made a promise myself that I was going to visit the range three times. It's literally five minutes away from me. I was going to vis visit the range three times at least and try and play tw once every two weeks. And um, we went up the range the other day and we got like 150 golf balls and we just hit the golf balls and in between we just chatted. And you know what? It was perfect. It was just really fucking quiet. It was just our own time. We just switched the phones off just allowed ourselves to be in that moment of tranquility, of peace, of calmness, of being away from the loop and stepping out to be able to just have some us time. And I think as men, we never give ourselves enough time to be to ourselves. And I think it's important to have that time stepping out of the loop from being a dad, a husband, a business owner, an employee, a manager, a son, a brother, a sister, where you carry maybe a lot of responsibility, where you carry a lot of stress and worry and just have something for you. And I think if you are going to be at the very top of your, uh, your priority pyramid, where you, are, you put yourself first, this is something that I think we need to do. And I think we need to get out of our head that this is selfish. Sometimes you have to be selfish to be kind. And I don't believe that finding 40 minutes to yourself is selfish or finding an hour in the morning to yourself is selfish. It's part and parcel of the package to improving you. And I think it takes a level of communication, understanding with people around you or in your life to get that point across that this is why you're doing this my partner fully understands that if I don't go and do those things I'm a nightmare to be around and I think that if when you can communicate that communicate that in the right way and uh, and your partners and friends or other people have empathy and understand why you need to do that and why you need to go for your walks or go to a coffee shop and read a newspaper or go go to the golf range or take the dog for a walk three times a day or go for a run or go into the gym do you know what I mean or go paddle boarding whatever it is that you do to relax let's just check the time here 
because one of the ways that I feel that men can progress more than ever is by finding those reflective times, okay? It's by finding those periods of time that allow them to think clearly, to make better decisions, to understand the process much more. And I think that when you do that on a consistent basis, you start making better decisions on a consistent basis. You start finding those micro wins. You start building up those 1%, uh, the one percenters, okay? The 1% percenters being showing up the minimum requirement to move you forwards. Otherwise, you're in the loop of shit. It is the merry-go-round. It is the fucking hamster wheel. It is the firefighting that constantly fucks you up and completely pounds you into the ground as you try to make better decisions and find a direction and clear path. So as, as moving forward, as an action point from here, let's look at trying to find a minimum of 20 minutes where you step out the loop, where you find that space, where you find that time to be able to just have some reflective time where there's no kids, where there's no fucking work, where there's no phone, And it's just you. And I'd love to know, and for you all to share in this community, and make a promise in the comments below, and tell everybody what you are going to do for 20 minutes, even if you just do it twice this week, it's a progression, it's moving forwards, what you think you are going to try and do. And that is you holding yourself accountable to taking action, and doing what you said you were going to do, in terms of your one percenter. All right, guys, you've got to be able to find some time to to step out of this loop. Otherwise, you're going to get fucking buried alive and you're going to go through life consistently firefighting and you're going to be burnt out mentally, emotionally and end up and it's going to end up being physical. That's it. Five day challenge starts Monday. If you're not on it, you are fucking missing out. It's a free five day course. Okay, you can register on the link that is in the uh, on on this post. Um, Come work me for five days. Free some free coaching and. will completely change the way you see the world. All right, guys, take care. Catch you soon.